hello chicas how's everyone doing welcome back to another holiday design so then right here let's begin with the acrylics we are going to be using on this design we're going to be using a brown and a white the white is from nsi and the brown i made it myself you guys i believe i made it with uh, Mia Secrets cover pink and I added um, brown to it until I got the shade that I really was looking for Okay, chica. so on this uh, Design I went for a stiletto shape uh, I guess I had been doing a whole bunch of coffin and stuff and I think I wanted to change it up a little bit I just love coffin shape so much you guys. I love coffin nails uh, they're my favorite but I also love me some stiletto nails so then I decided to create this design with a stiletto tip so yeah you guys on these two fingers which is the middle finger and the index finger we're going to be applying a white acrylic this is just a plain white this one is from NSI and then um, I'm trying to like not touch the skin at all because white can be really messy to work with and we want a really clean work a really clean job so I'm trying not to touch the skin or anything and if I do I go ahead and clean it right away so I'm also using a number 16 brush you guys I just received this brush on the mail and guys it is so so awesome like i have no other word to describe it but it's so like i worked with it so good like it's i don't know you guys it's really really it's really cool uh it has like an aqua it reminds me so much of the nail supply glamour one because it also has glitter but i worked so comfortable with it you know so it is a number 16 brush and I found it through eBay. I bought it through eBay. I believe it was like 12 bucks. So it was super inexpensive and it took about maybe like a week or two weeks to get to me, which was to me, it was pretty fast. It was pretty quick. It didn't take that long. But anyway, right on these two fingers, we're going to be applying this brown shade. I love this brown guys. I, when I was making it, I was like, oh my God, it's it looks exactly like gingerbread like the color it looks exactly like gingerbread um so this color is gonna go on the pinky on the ring finger and on the thumb and then i'm also gonna go ahead and cap my nails for for the encapsulation i'm gonna be using my nsi acrylic powder and the nail supply glamour um liquid i told you guys on my i think I don't, maybe it was in my Spanish video. I don't remember you guys, but I was telling you guys that I did not like the powder um, Quick update. <laughs> I didn't like the powder. It, it's kind of I don't know how to describe it You guys it looks like sand and once I try to like brush it down my nail Everything comes down like it's it's so weird. I have to be super gentle with it um, it, it looks it literally looks like sand and it leaves like a white cast on the nails um if if the nail is dark like let's say i'm working on a black nail it won't leave it crystal clear it leaves like a like a like a white cast on the tip of the nail it's so weird it's so rare you can see it on my last spanish video which was the the um, like the mauve shade ones with with um with the wine tone you can totally see it on that video and I explained to them in Spanish that it had happened because I was using a brand new acrylic system and I'm pretty sure it was that you guys because that has never happened to me and once I used that powder like that happened and I was like oh hell no like I didn't like it I did not like it I like the I really do like the monomer because it's like low order so I like it but not the acrylic powder so I guess I'll save you guys some cash um, I wouldn't buy it no more like I wouldn't maybe I'm gonna keep using it because I did waste money on that and I am gonna use it 
but I do not recommend that product okay you guys so now that I've capped all of my nails I went ahead and shaped and buffed them and filed them <laughs> and actually it's file shape and buff and then um, I'm going to do like a whatchamacallit like a candy cane on this finger right here and I'm just using a red painting gel as well as a super thin um, brush liner liner brush I don't know what you call it you guys but yeah you get what I'm saying and I'm doing like some thin stripes and then I went ahead and do some thicker ones and um, it's super easy super simple to do you guys super super quick and then um I just filled the, the thicker the thicker lines in so that it looks more like it looks more realistic you know so before I go ahead and cure that in the lamp I wanted to sprinkle that with with some glitter I've seen a lot of people do this and of course you guys I had to do it so I went ahead and sprinkled um, the top well the red with with um, iridescent or yeah iridescent glitter and then I went ahead and cured for 30 seconds but guys I did a huge mistake here all of these nails are gonna go matte so since we're gonna be working on top with sugar effect and doing all these things I suggest you guys go in with your matte top coat first I will show you at last what I did um, I did do some touch-ups with the matte top coat off camera and I'll be letting you know where but yeah you guys I did this mistake so I had to go back with some other liner and like apply my matte top coat in between those lines and some other places um, right on the pinky finger and on my thumb we're going to be doing like some drip effect um, like if it was like white chocolate or something so we're going to be doing the drip effect and then also I'm going to be sprinkling it with glitter and then I'm going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp again for 30 seconds. And again, I didn't apply my, my matte top coat. Huge mistake, you guys. You always want to go in with your matte top coat beforehand. Like I said, we're, we're going to be working with sugar effect and all that. And of course, you don't want your sugar effect to be matte. So you gotta go in with your top coat first please don't forget that you guys like I said I went in with a brush to like around the sugar effect to actually apply my matte top coat and that's just time-consuming you guys um, if this was a client I would want that client to be out the door as fast as I can so I don't want to forget that step I don't want to be going in with another liner brush and trying to go in between those little um, you know drips and stuff you want to save yourself some time so don't forget that okay I didn't want to show you on camera you guys but I did do the same exact theme and thing I did on the pinky on my thumb just so you know okay so now for the 3d gingerbread oh my god I'm in love with this gingerbread It's so cute I'm using the same exact acrylic powder we used on the pinky and on the on the ring finger it's just the brown that I created um, I don't know you guys I thought I, I thought I was gonna have a hard time doing it but no you guys it's super simple super easy to do you're gonna see here um it, it was a little struggle i'm not gonna i'm not gonna deny it but it is really really simple like it has there's nothing to it you guys you'll be good trust me this was actually my very first gingerbread <laughs> and to be quite honest i was proud of myself so i'm right here i'm just doing the little body you know the little legs and stuff i'm using a number five um what is it a number five 3d brush from ebay super inexpensive as well you guys uh you can find it on ebay just type in uh 3d brush and boom it's gonna come out so okay now i'm doing the other little leg and like i said i want well I, at first i wanted to do it with gel paint or painting gel 
but I didn't have a brown so I was like oh my god I'm gonna have to 3d this thing and I don't know how I have no idea so I did pull out a picture of a gingerbread online um, just for like inspiration and it, it was super simple you guys all I'm gonna do right now is apply like a bigger ball on top to like even out his little body since it had like fatter parts to it and I want it to be all even so you're gonna see me do that in a second and also you guys as you can see my pinky finger looks super matte compared to my ring finger you're gonna see that I had already applied and went over with a liner brush and my matte top coat so that's why it looks like that it looks super matte super cute super pretty and um since we're gonna be hand drying some, a, a little gingerbread house on the ring finger I decided to leave it so that I can show you guys the matte top coat that I'm using and how uh, I'm applying it so right here I'm going to be drawing his little face and his little face just consists of two little eyeballs his mouth um, his little red buttons and then I did the little lines on his feet on his two legs I'm sorry and his two um, arms and then I went ahead and cured that in the lamp for another 30 seconds okay chicas here we go with the gingerbread house super simple I'm going to be drying in the door the door I'm just doing like this round shaped door and the with the exact same white painting gel and um, a smaller brush I think I'm using here yep and then I'm going to be drying like some red lines to it um, that's gonna look like a candy cane door kind of sort of you know like a candy door so before I do that I went to cure this in the lamp for um, 30 seconds and then once it comes out this is when I start doing the candy cane and I'm using the red painting gel again super simple super super simple um, it looks like I mean it is time consuming because like each and every nail is different so like you have to do different designs on on every nail but to be quite honest you guys this is my favorite design for Christmas like from all of the ones that I've done I love this one I fell in love with it it's so pretty and I had so much fun trying to do it you guys because I had never done anything like this like I said the gingerbread was my very first gingerbread I've ever made so it was so much fun you guys and so much like it was so cool I don't know I, I guess I just love gingerbreads and I really really loved how these turned out so then I'm just gonna be making the little windows and all you guys I'm gonna let you guys see this part and then I'll come back with you guys in a little while So now that the gingerbread house is totally done with, now I could go in with my matte top coat. But like I said, don't forget your top coat or your matte top coat before you go in with the sugar effect. So okay you guys, I cured that in the lamp for 60 seconds and now I'm going to add a little bit of rhinestones. These are super tiny. I'm adding some five, I mean some red and some green ones and um it's gonna make it look as if it had um candy around the window you know what i mean so this is it you guys this is totally it i just applied a little bit of cuticle oil and oil <laughs> that sounded so weird you guys a cuticle oil 
uh and this is it this is totally it i freaking love these you guys i cannot stop staring at them i really 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 love them uh so you guys be the judge you guys tell me what you guys think uh so yeah i'll, I'll see you guys on the next one take care stay safe bye bye